Okay, it's great to be coming home to you. I've got that song in my mind. I'll be home for Christmas. You are on my mind. Yeah, it's we have such a deep connection with spirit and Christmas time is just that time. It's a symbol or a reminder of that connection to the, the love that we are, to the Christ that we are, the Christ within. And there are just so many opportunities to open your heart and to feel the miracle of Christ's love. And that is our dedication. We've just given our lives so fully over to that. And now we have many, many things that are swirling around us, happening around us. They're just are miracles every day. There's it's a celebration of the Spirit. It's a consistent experience of the joy of this Christ Presence. And there's so many ways to connect with us and I'm happy that I can reach you through this video in this newsletter and also all the resources that we have, all the avenues of connecting with us. Of course it's it's possible to come and visit us and stay with us and we have those opportunities throughout the year for devotional stays and retreats and uh, conferences uh, whether they're here in Utah or in different parts of the, the country and the world. And then there's online ways to connect. Uh, you can just go on our, our Nation Builder which is our uh, support, a circle of support and there's ways to connect in there where you just open up and share what it is that you are inspired by, what it is that you are looking for, what could be helpful to you. Just to make that contact, just to reach out and talk to somebody, write to somebody, share something with us, share something that, that really is on your heart and then let us respond to you. And that starts this, this spark of this holy encounter. And this holy encounter and this spark in your heart just will grow and grow and grow as you nurture it. The Course in Miracles, Jesus is always talking about the holy relationship. And the holy relationship is, is a phenomenal teaching and learning uh, device for coming inward so deep that you come into the holy instant. But holy relationship is really a purpose that we all share. So in that sense you can have this perception of holiness and holy relationship with many many people in your life because really it's a state of mind. But you have to be guided in a practical way into the state of mind. What you're working with in terms of of people, relationships, you might have job relationships, family relationships, partnerships, uh, neighborhood relationships, all different kinds of a uh, whole gamut of relationships. But also until your mind has a unified purpose it can seem like there are different purposes for different relationships. And what we're coming to experience through practicing a Course in Miracles is that we share the same purpose. We all share the same purpose. And you can call that whatever you want. You can call that being happy or you can call that forgiveness. You can call that your function but it doesn't really matter the words you use that you have an opportunity to really join in and deepen in that, that purpose, that function and deepen in that experience of holy relationship. So we're just overflowing with love and wanting to connect with you in all kinds of ways, whatever ways are given by the Spirit. There's a spaciousness with that, there's an ease with that. It's a natural feeling to feel that connection. I actually had someone a couple of days ago, they, they wrote to me through this uh, service called LinkedIn and they said, uh, why are you uh, writing to me and requesting for me to be a contact? And I said, I love connecting. That was my, my answer. And they said, well, that's the best reason I've ever heard for a LinkedIn invitation. <laughs> 
the, frequently too, I over the years I would even have a, a mobile phone and uh, I would I would end my uh, greeting on my mobile phone with I love you and people would tell me you can't say that on a phone greeting but you can share it if it's actually how you feel in your heart. You Anything that comes from your heart, anything that's really authentic, that is really coming from the core of your very being can be shared and you realize you don't have anything to hold back. It's so precious, we have so many precious opportunities and we don't want to waste those opportunities. So for me, the Christmas season is just a time of remembrance. It's a time that you give yourself permission to sink inward into that calling of your heart, into the devotion of your heart. And also it's a time to let any emotions surface that need to come up and to be full of allowance and permission and, and let them move through. There's no point in um, trying to hold on to them or push them down, there's no point in trying to wallow in them, but they do need spaciousness, they need to be allowed to move through. And we have had that great allowance in our community and our community is really a community of the heart, a community of our mind, but also it plays out in very loving, practical ways. And so we still have all the, the hugs and kisses and the smiles and all the warm gestures that naturally flow through. Uh, whether people say they're on a spiritual journey or not, it doesn't really matter. You know, the love in the heart is what it's all about, the connection. And you know you can extend that anywhere you seem to be or anywhere you seem to go. There's no limits to that. There's not a single limitation on the love in our hearts. So I invite you to partake in our Living Miracles community. Come in as deeply as you feel guided. Come as close as you want to come. None of us are, we're, we don't bite. We are actually here to welcome you with open arms, knowing that you appreciate nurturing, you appreciate support, you appreciate a kind word that comes just at that time when you need it. And I assure you that as you reach out and open up to that, you will find that we are, are here waiting for you and waiting to extend to you. There's no greater joy for us than extending and therefore there's no greater joy for us than the invitation to extend and you are definitely that invitation to us. So I give you all the love in my heart and I welcome you to come and partake in anything and everything that we have to offer. Merry Christmas. Blessings. <laughs>